Somewhere in the bustling province of Pampanga, a middle-aged guy who still feels a kid at heart has quietly amassed through the years a vast collection of toys that would someday give him an official world record. Hello, I'm Percival Arlugo. I'm 44 years old. I'm currently the graphic designer for the classified advertising department here in Manila, Bolivia. Percy has been working for the Manila Bulletin for 13 years now, which has significantly helped him achieve his unique pursuit. And I'm also the official Guinness World Record holder of the largest collection of fast food restaurant toys. In this department, we lay out the different endorsements of our clients, be they legal or employment needs. I also happen to be a contributor as a comic uh, illustrator and comic uh, author. Every Saturday, his comic strip Amazing Grace is featured on MB's fan page section. I created her sometime 12 years ago. Now, as a comic illustrator, uh, it is inevitable that I have tangible, three-dimensional inspirations whenever I'm creating comic strips. And so it was then uh, that I got interested with the fast food toys that were basically being given free whenever you buy fast food, fast food in McDonald's, Jollibee, Wendy's, Burger King, or whatever fast food we have here in the Philippines. From there, his collectibles have grown into a massive pool of toys, which sum up to exactly 10,904 as of November 2014. His largest collection, McDonald's Happy Meal Toys at 5,947. It was during those times that he decided to apply for a Guinness World Record. Uh, the first ever toy that I bought were uh, an offering from Jollibee, their set of Popeye toys. When I was able to complete that particular set, I felt a certain uh, satisfaction. And then with the next offering, of course, it became inevitable that I have to complete, uh, I have to complete the set as well. I learned about the good news a couple of days after when they emailed it. When I did found about <laughs> I was literally prancing. I was telling my friends, I was, oh my god, I don't know what to say. I, I don't know what to do. Is this for real? I was very ecstatic. And then it was uh, the wee, until the wee still hours of the morning, I couldn't sleep because I was really cherishing the experience. It means a lot. I mean, for any collector, this is the ultimate gratification. It's the most gratifying thing that I ever received in my entire life. And as far as collecting, is concerned. My advice to all those who want to start their own collection, first you have to figure out what you what you are genuinely passionate about. I mean you don't start collecting just because it's a fad or it's a craze because uh, if you do when the fad fizzles out you end up with a pile of junk or garbage but if you are genuinely passionate about what you are collecting uh, I mean, even when the fad or the craze ends up, you will still continue collecting and you still continue enjoying your collection. And that to me is money well spent.